I am a frog, a fearless one. I have faced water snakes, escaped the claws of hawks, and even jumped on the back of crocodiles without flinching. But today I am facing a different opponent, the Queen Bee. Bees, venomous creatures that make any creature wary. A sting can cause swelling, pain, and if unlucky, can even kill the opponent. But I am no ordinary man. I have watched them for a long time, seen their kind trapped in spider webs, seen them panic when their nests are attacked. And I know one thing, no matter how strong they are, bees have their weaknesses. I moved closer. The queen bee flapped her fragile wings, her eyes glinting with caution. She knew I was no gentle creature, but she did not run away. Perhaps she was confident in her deadly weapon. I jumped. My long tongue shot out like an arrow. But the bee was faster than I thought. It swerved to the side, its wings vibrating, creating a sharp sound like a knife cutting through the air. 
Before I could even gather my wits, it rushed forward, aiming straight for my eyes and stinging. I jerked back, a stinging pain in the corner of my eye. My arms shook. No, I couldn't back down. I growled, my legs flexed, ready to spring. The bee hovered in front of me, its wings flapping so fast it seemed as if it were standing still. Its gaze was cold and unwavering. I felt like it was assessing me as I was assessing it. Without hesitation, I jumped straight into the air, turned around and slammed my hind legs into its body. The bee staggered, lost its momentum. It tried to regain its balance, but it was too late. I sprang up again, opened my mouth wide and... Snap! The queen bee disappeared between my jaws. I felt it still struggling, its wings trembling desperately. But for a moment, all movement stopped.
I triumphantly jumped towards the edge of the pond. The queen bee was now just a delicious dish in my mouth. Who dared to say frogs are afraid of bees? Today I proved them wrong. But wait, wait, a sharp pain spread through my body. I looked down. On my lip, a small needle was still stuck. The venom was spreading. I staggered, my vision blurred, my body trembled, my breathing became heavy, the world spun, I fell. Am I being too reckless? Or is this the price I have to pay for my arrogance? But no, 
It is the courage that everyone needs to have in life to face the difficulties in their life. What do you think about this? Leave your comments for me.